office of the Prime Minister and Makerere University, especially from the Agricultural College. And the graduates of today's event, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'm happy to be here, as you have noticed, because this is a very, very important day for Northern Uganda. It's a day which must turn Northern Uganda into a more productive region, because this is only one of the activities under DINU, but DINU's main goal is to consolidate stability in Northern Uganda, eradicate poverty and undernutrition, and strengthen foundation for sustainable and inclusive socioeconomic development. Since morning, we have been talking and representation from all of us who are here are talking about development, are talking about improved agriculture, are talking about how we can make parish development model successful in our areas. And I want to appreciate very much because speaking the same language is the beginning of our achievement as a team. I want to appreciate Makerere University for taking up this mantle. I know it was a hassle looking for institutions to train as if we didn't know that you were there, but the process had to be done that certain institutions were selected to provide these trainings. And we are not disappointed because you have listed the courses you have given to our team, which is really going to improve on our agriculture. Especially like Vice Chancellor, you said, the agribusiness approach, the marketing and the financial management. When the president goes out to speak, to encourage us to come out of poverty, and well knowing that agriculture is our backbone, he will always emphasize, please do agriculture with some planning, with some calculation. In West Nile, he will say, you do your agriculture with Otita. In Acholi, in Lango, he'll say, you do your agriculture with Chura. In East in Teso, you say, you do your agriculture with Ayman. Yes, so this message has really gone with Chibalo in central Uganda. Yes, so this message has really gone. But I think we have not followed it with action. We are doing agriculture as what my grandfathers were doing. And actually, when sometimes I move around the country, I see the old, old practice. I don't see new practice. And I think one of these days I'm going to choose the cows. I say, let take me to your garden, I see. Whether you are really doing some agricultural practice, which shows some knowledge in agriculture. And then I'll also ask you how much you are getting from this agricultural activity. <laughs> 